At the pace of a glacier, Muso's Corner has been slipping down Hunter Street for more than 50 years. On April 19th, Muso's Corner will finally be leaving the block to make the epic journey, 20 metres across the road to the old Spotlight Building, 711 Hunter Street. We sat down with Muso's owner and founder, Sandra Lindsay, to ask how she started, what is happening now, and what is in store for the future of Muso's Corner. In 1965, I joined a large retailer, musical retailer in Sydney and was a secretary to the retail manager. In 1967, myself and my partner moved to Newcastle and took over a small piano shop called Foley's Pianos. Playing shops was in my DNA. I love it. When I came to Newcastle in 67, there was no music stores in town. And at that time, uh, a lot of the um, venues had um, bands like In Excess and uh, great people coming. And Newcastle is a very dedicated, musical, talented town. I haven't really changed. They still are passionate about music. The whole town is very musical. And we find that um, People use music as a source of enjoyment and pleasure and um, this town is set up for it. We are now serving great-grandchildren of our original customers in 1967. People's love of music. I love my business. I love the challenge of growing the business. I like the fact that I can change the business to suit the needs of the time. What I'm excited about is the fact that we're moving across the road to Spotlight, which is large. We shall never know that much space again. And later in the new year, having a purpose-built building of our own, um, which we can control and move on. I'm excited about moving to the new building because then we can show everybody what actually we have to offer for music in Newcastle. To be there after I'm gone and to continue providing Newcastle and everybody else, I guess, with, uh, with music and the love of music.